It was at this moment he knew. He fucked up. <coughs> I so Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> what is going on guys? Welcome to the channel and welcome to my new series. I think I'm going to call this Yaksha's Car Reviews because as I said before, I wanted to get some of my friends on the channel and I want to showcase what they've done with their cars. So today I've got Matt with me and his beautiful RS3. Alright, so how this is going to work, we're going to be first talking about the exterior, then we'll move into the interior, and then we'll hear what the car sounds like. You know, people do get their exhaust done. Matt, have you done anything to your exhaust yet? Nothing yet. Nothing yet? Nothing yet. But it's definitely something in the pipeline. It's definitely on my to-do list. It's the next thing for this car. Okay. Definitely. What have you done to the front of the car? Um, so I got this car about two months ago, um, and it was in a completely different state to what it uh, was. So. I've got a Maxton Design front splitter that was done by AutoWorks. I've also got a blacked out Audi ring. Um, moving over to the wheel section, we've got, uh, I've got an alloy wheel reefer from AutoWorks. Nice. So what I did was I just got a gloss black um, paint to match the actual paint colour of the car. Yeah. And then diamond cut the wheels. Um, and what, what was your like initial thought when you were, you know, when you got the car and you were thinking, I'm gonna mod this, obviously, because no one keeps their car yeah, 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 stock, yeah, yeah. right? So what is it like an OEM plus look? What, what, 100%. what were you going for? Yeah, I don't wanna go for anything too much like body kits or white body. Um, I wanna keep it sort of OEM plus. Yeah. At the moment, so other things on my to do list um, that I've sort of envisioned as my plan is getting the calipers done, so right. like a bumblebee yellow at, or um sort of a BMW gold yeah and then I'm gonna paint that map with the badges and then I think exterior wise I think that's gonna be it to be honest I think the gold will definitely contrast well with the black hundred yeah and yeah do you know what I don't actually see many people running like that yellow goldish kind of calipers so most people run either red blue hundred yeah you could even go for something reflective like I had so yeah that's the plan I want something to pop because at the moment everything's black so I want something like a, like a contrasting colour yeah. um, and I haven't seen those currently on the, these shape RSs at the moment so it'll be something a bit different what about the rear side of the car anything so I'm moving to the rear um, again I've got the front um, sorry rear um, spoiler lip from Maxim Designs so I've done that myself I've also got ahead and bought some black gloss black Audi rings again and I've blacked out the RS uh, badging as well um, and then obviously just the private plate yeah I think off. the black definitely cleans out the car and you know you got to focus in on this easy sticker over here <laughs> make yeah. sure you hit the link below you can cop some or come to our meet yeah so I'm gonna keep it the same twin pipe but I want to get a 3.5 inch sort of st custom straight as opposed to like a Miltech. Ooh, um, straight and then, pipe, you're going to yeah. be pissing off a couple of neighbours. Yeah, as long as I've got a valve on it and two silencers, yeah. I think that's, I think it'll be conservative when I'm just like driving normally. Um, and then my other plan is just getting the rear um, wiper delete, I think, okay. just to clean up, clean up the rear. Um, and Whoa, should we hear what your car sounds like then? Yeah, by all means, by all means. Mm. <laughs> interior i've never been inside uh one of these cars before so it's all new to me matt talk to me what's your first impression of your car um so i'm coming from a 640 so this is completely different um it's just more sort of bare bones so again it's you have leather seats but you have the same sort of um ap a3 ap dash um but the bits that are changed from the normal sort of S models and A3 models which you've got the RS3 emblem for the steering wheel um, flat bottom you've got an RS uh, gearbox selector RS dials and they've changed the actual um, onboard computer as well uh, for the RS models so you can see sort of engine temps you have just the direct speedo just looking at you 
um, but other than that it's fairly sort of simplistic yeah one thing I have to add I still can't see for some reason the oil temp on my instrument cluster and I know a couple of you uh, F22 owners also having that issue I think it's just with the M235i's they don't actually I don't know for some reason they just don't show it you have to go into some secret menu to actually see what your oil temperature is so it's a bit annoying but um, I hate to compare but <laughs> as a BMW lover are you happy with this or you know obviously you, said yeah. you just came from a BMW so yeah coming from the sort of BM world it's you're gonna have to accept it doesn't have all the mod cons that a new shape BMW has. Yeah. And I've accepted that. Um, I have to say though, these seats are a lot more comfier than yeah. mine are. And um, I, like you said, I do like this, how like, it's not all in your face. What you need is just right there. Yeah, exactly that. So I'm pretty happy with it at the moment. Um, the main thing to take from this, this chassis was sort of developed and designed back in sort of 2003. Right. Um, I'm probably going to get fact checked on that, I'm probably wrong. But it's an old shaped chassis, so the actual experience that you get from the 2.5 turbo, the mm. 5 cylinder, within this cabin is quite raw compared to any new shaped cars. So, and that's what a lot of um, other sort of RS3 8P owners are coming back with. It's a totally different cabin experience compared okay. to um, an 8V RS3. Right, okay. So that's one thing to take home from this other than it being quite basic. Yeah. So, but I enjoy it, so. Fair play. That's what matters. Any carbon bits, anything like that, you know, retrimming or what about your steering wheel? Any plans to. So, in terms of my plans for the interior, I want to just mimic, again, OEM Plus yeah. and hop back to the new shape um, RS3. So I'm going to get this done in Alcantara and then the door uh, inserts. I'm going to get done in our Kintara. Same with the RS um, gearbox mm -hmm. selector and handbrake. Just to keep in line with the sort of OEM plus look I'm going for. Um, and that will put, And if I'm lucky, I'm trying to source um, an RS4 or an RS3 shaped bucket seats. But they go for two grand a piece. So ah. that's probably going to be <laughs> way, way, way down the line. So... Um, that's my sort of current plan to do yeah. with the interior. Fair enough. Uh, now we've heard what the car sounds like, see what it looks like in the outside and the inside. I think the only thing left to do is go for a little spin. Go for it. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Alright guys, so first time in the car. Let's go for a little journey and see what the car can do. I hear Matt's a bit of a good driver. Shall we, shall we just leave it at that? <laughs> Get away driver! <laughs> Get away driver! <laughs> oh my god! I always hate going through the 6x6s. God, I hate them. You just go straight on. <laughs> Yeah, go right, but then you're going like that way. Even when you had, um, when I put on PSRSs, yeah. 
you've gone through with it within that short space of time yeah exactly but for me this car feels quite fresh because i don't even daily it yeah so i only take it out on the weekends if there's any sort of um, meat or whatever the window's down on sunday and um we're going to the tunnel we're going to the tunnel Okay, that's not bad, you know, because I pay about 265 I think. Yeah. Which, 
Honestly, if I got a 248, that would have been cut to like 140. Yeah. Um, which is ridiculous because my car was literally a year before. If that makes sense. That, yeah. Um, but then again, it is a completely different engine as well. But yeah, sorry, carry on. So, tax. Tax, yeah, tax is what, 280 from, just from recollection. Yeah. Fuel, for a full tank, I think it's about 70 quid. Okay. So it's not too bad, and that's with um, V power. That's not bad at all. So it's not too bad. What's the range of the full tank? You're lucky if you get 230 miles out of it. I mean, really? The way I drive it, yeah. <laughs> I mean, like you said, it is kind of a weekend thing, yeah. right? So I'm, gu I'm guessing you're just riding it around. Yeah, so insurance as well. Um, I would say, I think I'm on 1700, I'm what, 25 with two years no claims. Yeah. And I've had my license since I was 17, so. Oh, fair play. Um, I don't think it's too bad. For it Especially, the, it, 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 there's also other factors, right? Where you yeah. live, um, whether you park on the driveway, side road, that kind of thing. Yeah. So, and if you do. Own servicing as well, so yeah. I've just got this service two weeks ago. And it was that about 200 quid all in. Um, so, and service wise, I'll service it every sort of depending on how much engine work we've done to it, yeah, and what mod you've done, sort of every sort of 10,000. But again, if you're what's it called? if you're mapping running, it and yeah, if you're doing a bunch of um, other engine ones. So, any plans on actually taking this car on track or to Santa Pod? Maybe? Um, I think in the um, summer 2021, I'd love to take it on a couple of track days. Yeah. Uh, but I just need to get the brakes done first and a couple of the chassis bits done. Yeah. Um, just to get it all track prepped. Mm -hmm. and yeah, then I'm definitely on doing a couple of um, track days to see how. See, um, Maybe a couple of. Yeah. European drives too because that's 100%. something that I yeah. definitely want to go on and I know for a fact that section will be going on some hopefully next year section's going on tour <laughs> section on tour yes <laughs> we're going to end it here uh, thanks Matt for coming on the channel Cheers, and guys. giving us a little review of your car beautiful car I must say um, thank you guys for watching hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Yaksha's car review it's my first one so it's a little bit of an experiment and if you guys want to feature on my channel uh, send me a DM or leave a comment down below with some of your details and I'll get in touch with you so thank you for watching the video make sure you do the usual like comment and subscribe and I'll catch you next time see you later